Do you know what would be crazy? If you didn't want to appear when and where your customers are looking. This week, we're going to look through our SEO checklist to help you try and get first page rankings for competitive search terms. That means when someone is searching for those awesome things you do and sell, your website will be the first to entice them into buy. Grab a pen and paper and get ready to note things down because Wednesdays are about to get giant. Hi, my name is Holly and welcome to Giant Wednesday, the only place to be to discover the wonderful world of digital marketing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and post your comments below. You may or may not like to hear it, but process is essential to making sure you smash your marketing. With that in mind, when we are optimizing websites for search, we start with a repeatable list of things to check off. These are things you can do, whether you're technically minded or not, which we know can act as a huge roadblock sometimes. Let's not dilly-dally. From design and mess data through to content and site speed, we're going to talk you through part of our giant checklist. Six things, let's go. Number one, responsive design. Mobile web browsing over to desktop as the device of first choice for internet users. So now mobile first is a standard component of SEO. With Google evaluating the mobile version of your site before the desktop one, you need to ensure you build your website this way. Having a responsive design for your website essentially means it works well for mobiles, providing a similar, if not better, user experience than desktop version. So what should you be checking? When editing your site, make sure to use the editing tools that display it in mobile sizing. Rescale images, videos, and text if necessary. Make sure your buttons work. Your menu appears and it's not just some endless scrolling mess. Number two, page titles. If you're this far into optimizing your website, then you should have conducted keyword research by now. Make sure your HTML tags contain keywords that are relevant to what's on the page. Page titles are a ranking factor, so what should you be checking? Make sure the page titles are keyword targeted to help your page rank. The recommended length is 55 characters, and that includes spaces. Make sure they're engaging, not overly sales heavy. Number three, meta descriptions. These are the bits that sit under your page titles in a search engine results page. Whilst they're not a direct ranking factor, they can affect click-through rates, which are a ranking factor. With this in mind, make sure they are sufficiently descriptive about what the pages are about. What should you be checking? Make them keyword targeted so they align with the page titles and can be highlighted by search engines. Ensure they're between 140 and 150 characters with spaces. And include call to actions to get people clicking through. Number four, URLs. Not to sound like a broken record, broken record, broken record, but your URLs, this bit, should contain meaningful keywords. They also need to be clean, meaning they need to be readable and make sense to both humans and search engines. I mean, look at that. What to check? Make them keyword targeted, shorter than 2,083 characters to render in Internet Explorer, if anyone still uses that thing, and have no parameters, which essentially means an ugly string of letters and numbers at the end. Number five, site speed. When your website loads, is it a bit on the slow side? If it takes more than three seconds to load after they've clicked the link, then it's been found that 53% of mobile users give up trying. You don't want to lose potential customers for something as silly as that, do you? What should you be checking? Whether you know it's slow or you aren't 100% certain, identify any potential site speed issues using Google's PageSpeed Insights tool. Use the insights from there to action bits across the site. Average load time should be less than two seconds. Average server response should be less than one. Check this and react accordingly. And finally, number six, HTTPS. That sounds like I'm about to burst into song, but no. HTTPS, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, should you fancy its real name, protects the integrity and confidentiality of your user's data between their computer and your website. It's been a ranking signal in Google's algorithm for a while now. Having it means Google won't show a warning when a user goes to your website if they're using Chrome, which most people do. Otherwise, it might affect your bounce rate. It all dovetails quite nicely, doesn't it? It also adds an element of trust for the user when inputting their private information to your site. What to check for? If you're moving from HTTP to HTTPS, then make sure you map out your 301 redirects so web pages don't get lost. And that's just a few things from our checklist, but a great start to helping you satisfy Google's demands for an optimized website. Have a go at some of these things, and if you have any questions, let us know. We are here to help. That's it for today. Go forth and comment your views on this, and give us a like and subscribe to see more great digital and marketing content every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Giant Wednesday.